everyone, it's me, Mindy Hilton from Northern California. It is dessert week at RWOP, and I can't think of a better way to end a party than by serving something sweet. And this season two has been such a great party, so what a way to end it with dessert week and our Philadelphia cream cheese. You know, my mom taught me hospitality at a young age, and that you should always make something for your guests that you think they're gonna love. Well, Paula, I know you and I both have and share an affinity for our pink little piggy friend. So today I am making a very special recipe. I made it earlier on this year during the holidays and shared it with a lot of people at my husband's work and everyone went crazy for it. So I think it's up and ready for your approval, Paula. It is a white chocolate maple bacon fudge. I can't wait to share it with you. It's gonna be so good. I hope that you'll enjoy it. You know, I shoot a lot of videos at my tables here, in one in my family room and one in my dining room. And well, not only is my kitchen kind of long and narrow, so I feel like I'm always turning my back, but really our table is a place that our family gathers to enjoy good meals, play board games, talk. And I feel like that's what I'm doing with you guys, is just talking and sharing and so it makes sense to do a lot of videos at my table. All I'm gonna do is add that wonderful Philadelphia cream cheese that is gonna keep our fudge so moist and irresistible. And the whole eight ounces is going in. And that's regular Philadelphia cream cheese. There we go. I don't wanna lose any of that. Along with four teaspoons of real maple syrup. And I want every drop of that oh, maple, cream cheese, bacon, white chocolate. Are you drooling yet? I know I'm getting excited. And now I'm gonna start adding some powdered sugar and I'm gonna take this over to my standing mixer and I'm gonna add the powdered sugar very carefully because I don't wanna wear it even though I have my cute apron on. I'm gonna do my best to not make a mess. Now we're just gonna incorporate six cups of powdered sugar very gradually into our cream cheese mixture. And if you want, you can even throw a large kitchen towel over your mixer to keep any powdered sugar from flying up and getting you in the face. I let that cream cheese get to room temperature too. It'll make it incorporate much easier. Ready for more powdered sugar. Just a little at a time. Now that we've got all six cups of powdered sugar incorporated, we've got what looks like a really thick, creamy frosting. And now for our two pieces of bacon. And I sure hope you don't let the bacon scare you from this dessert. I know bacon is savory, but trust me, it works in this dessert. I sent a whole batch of this to test on my husband's coworkers. None of it came back. They loved it. And they're usually pretty brutally honest but it was a hit, so I hope you'll give it a try. There's even companies out there making bacon desserts, so it's not just me. I'm not just your silly bacon girl. It's really good. So we're just gonna take our two strips of bacon, and I buy my bacon fully cooked from the store, so now I'm gonna pour some more maple syrup, and that was four teaspoons, and I'm gonna flip it to coat both sides, and I've got this on a paper towel too. And I just want to coat all of that bacon with maple syrup. Now I'm going to get this bacon extra crispy in my microwave for just about two to three minutes. Now that our bacon is nice and sweet and crispy, we're just going to chop it up into little tiny pieces. And you notice I'm not adding any of the bacon grease or anything like that to the fudge because I don't want the fudge to just all taste like bacon. It's the little tiny savory pieces of bacon with the maple that you're gonna find incorporated into it that are just gonna be so exciting for your taste buds. You know, I love my standing mixer and I almost didn't keep it. My husband gave it to me about a year ago for my birthday and I felt like it was just too nice of a gift for, for my birthday and I, I didn't wanna keep it because I felt bad. I, I have issues about accepting gifts. Anyways, I almost broke his heart when I made him take it back and then I realized, you know what, 
I'm gonna use it a lot and I have and I love it I'm so glad I kept it and he forgave me for hurting his feelings and we've made so many yummy things with it over the last year and today is one of those days that we're using it to make something yummy now I'm just gonna take those 12 ounces of white morsels and I'm gonna melt them in my microwave according to the package direction. And that only took about two minutes in my microwave and if you look inside your microwave, it might look like you still have whole morsels, but when you stir it, those chips will melt and become nice and creamy like this. Now I'm ready to add it to the rest of our cream cheese and bacon maple syrup combo. You can see I added that finely chopped bacon to our mix and the melted white chocolate morsels is next. Now I've already incorporated my chocolate and I did a little taste test and I wanted some more maple syrup in there. So I added just five more teaspoons and I'm just gonna incorporate that now. All I've done is place our fudge in a two quart square baker and you could use a 13 by nine inch baking dish, really any dish that you like. The bigger the dish, obviously the thinner the fudge will be. And I'm just gonna spread it out and you probably are noticing my parchment paper. I like to line my dish with parchment paper. That way, when the fudge has set up, I can easily lift it out and slice nice, pretty squares. And that's it. Well, I'm gonna go set this in my fridge or maybe my freezer because I can't wait to set up. And then I'll meet you back here for the taste test. Well, that just took about 20, 25 minutes in my freezer to set up. And you can see why I like that parchment paper. So easy to just lift it right out of our baking dish and onto our cutting board. And now I'm just going to go in for a little taste test. You know, fudge is so popular nowadays. You go to these really nice stores and they'll have like a fudge counter and you can try all these different varieties. Although I've never seen the white chocolate maple bacon fudge. I used to be so intimidated too by fudge. I always thought it was really hard and complex. In fact, until about a year ago, I had never really made fudge. It's one of those things that I look forward to eating, especially at the holidays. And my mother-in-law always made it in, in a few different varieties. So I just let her make it and I thought it was a lot of work and she kind of let me think it was a lot of work. I'm just kidding. She told me it was easy and I got the nerve to try it and now I see that fudge is one of those things you can make in so many flavors and with that Philadelphia cream cheese makes it so easy every time and so creamy too. And I think with the Philadelphia cream cheese, your fudge doesn't dry out as quickly either. It just, oh, it's so good. That texture is so good, so creamy. And like I said, the bacon flavor is not all the way through. It's mostly the white chocolate, the cream cheese, the maple syrup, and then every so often you get this salty, sweet kind of bite from the bacon. I love the colors of this too. I told you I made it during the holidays. It's great because the colors are white and red. So it's perfect during December. I wish I could slice a nice square of this fudge and send it out to everyone at ROP. I've had so much fun this season. And Paula, I made this dessert just for you. I hope that you love it. Bye everyone.